secularization. The secularization thesis. Secular means non-religious and secularization refers to the idea that individual societies in the world are becoming less religious. It's extremely difficult to study this issue as there is little on what religion actually is and how to measure it. Problem, if we can't measure religion, how can we measure if it's declining? Glock and Stark suggest that religion has five core dimensions to consider, belief, practice, experience, knowledge and consequence. Even when a definition is decided on for religion, it is equally as difficult to, to, to define secularisation. The fact that there is debate over what should be included in the notion of secularisation means that researchers are facing methodological problems when trying to measure it as each researcher might interpret it differently. Validity. The findings on secularisation provide a true, genuine picture of what they claim to show. Reliability. Would another researcher achieve the same result? Different definitions, different methods, different interpretations. Represent activeness. Can findings be generalised to the whole population or just a minority of the population? Why might it be difficult to obtain information on religion from people? What is wrong with the following question taken from the 2001 census? What is your religion? What is wrong with the following question taken from the 2001 British Social Attitudes Survey? Do you regard yourself as belonging to any particular religion? Are there any problems with using quantitative data to measure secularisation? Would qualitative data be more useful? Arguments for secularisation, a decline in religious thinking and belief. With the advent of industrialisation, people would start to look towards science and rationality rather than religion and the supernatural. This would create a desacralisation of consciousness, a loss of the capacity to experience a sense of sacredness and mystery in life. Suggest that religious beliefs have become marginalised. People only turn to them as a last resort. Decline in morality. Traditional church-based views of things such as divorce, abortion, cohabitation, sex outside of marriage and homosexuality impact little on people's behaviour. Postmodernists argue that Meta-narratives like religion have lost their influence as people are more likely con to control their own identities in a liquid or pick-and-mix world. People now have more choice to create do-it-yourself identities and enter the spiritual supermarket when it comes to their beliefs. Religion has lost its power and influence and has become watered down and fragmented to the extent that it becomes meaningless. 2001 census highlights evidence to suggest that many people who claim they are religious really know little about their religion. 72% showed they know little about the life of Jesus or the meaning of events such as Easter and Christmas. In the UK, decline can be seen in all major Christian denominations. In 2007, 2% of the population attended religious ceremonies on Sundays compared with 40% in 1851. There is also a declining attendance at Christmas and Easter, two of the major Christian events. Fewer than half of all marriages in the UK involve a religious ceremony. Less than a quarter of babies are now baptised compared with two thirds in 1950. A hundred years ago, half of children attended Sunday schools. If current trends continue, however, Sunday schools will become extinct 2016. Despite the growing numbers of NAMs and NRMs, membership is still very small. Also, the group of, of new NRMs or NAMs is insignificant to the number of religious movements that are collapsing. Bruce points out that less people opting for careers within 
arguments for secularization, decline of power and influence of religious institutions. In the Middle Ages, the church or religion was a dominant social institution which had enormous wealth, power and status. This is not necessarily the case in contemporary society. As pointed out by Bruce earlier, the church and religion is marginalised within today's world. There is various evidence to support this view. Many church buildings are left dilapidated and being left to crumble today, even though in medieval times even the poor donated the upkeep of, upkeep of grand ornate churches. The church has lost many of its powers to other institutions. Religious institutions command declining respect for major festivals such as Christmas and Easter, which are fast becoming money-making, empty festivals. The church has little influence over social policies, e.g. civil partnerships are legal now, despite opposition for some religions. People look towards new knowledge systems and ways of viewing the world, particularly with the advent of the internet within the globalised world. Herberg suggests that religions are going against their traditions and regulations themselves and as such are showing weakness. He points out the ordination of women as evidence of this and also the downplaying of miracles and the literal interpretations of scripture, the acceptance of homosexuality as evidence of this. It's also worth noting that the use of Latin in Catholic services is no longer man mandatory and is now voluntary. Linton argues that religion is going through a process of disnification in that it's becoming trivialised and taken less seriously. He suggests that in the postmodern market world, people will want to customise their identities and are free to do so as religion is fast becoming just another commodity on the market shelf. 